Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And please behave in the chat, otherwise we have to disable it. Focus with us and let us see what we will talk about today. In Kuwait, Kuwait is a Muslim country, as you know, it's a very rich country. And the reason it's rich, not because people there are people of technology or they have knowledge, but because they have oil. And in Kuwait, there is a very famous man, young man, who is a TV host. And we see him right now in the screen. This person, he decided to leave Islam and to become a Christian. And since then, the Muslims are going crazy. <clears throat> Yesterday, entered this guy, he announced, I mean, until he announced that he is out of Islam, he was the most wonderful person. He was the most smart person. He was the most intelligent. But today, he is the most stupid one. He's ignorant. He's crazy. He have a mental problem. All of this because he decided to become a Christian. And this is his video here. He is showing the cross in his neck. He said to everybody, you should know from now on, I am a Christian. And now the Muslims are posting verses from the Quran. Uh, may Allah guide him back. May Allah blah blah blah, blah 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 you know you know. This guy here is posting a verse that says, "The one who seek other than Islam as religion is not going to be accepted from him." Hmm. That's so good to be true. So this guy he opened the Quran and he did read the Quran and then he found that there is in the Quran misguiding verses, so he left Islam. This is what the verse is saying. He has the Munaqasat al Merkaziya, Thalatha, the one of Khidmal Madaniya, Arba, Al Fatwa, and Tashri, Khamsa, so why are you upset from him? Sita, Sukul Kuwait, Lauratal Maliya, Sabah. Why are you, Muhammad, what's wrong with you? Why are you upset from him? Sita, Sukul Kuwait, Lauratal Maliya, Sabah. Why are you, Muhammad, what's wrong with you? Why are you, Muhammad, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Change your diet, man. Now listen. The drama continue many they decide to help this guy to see the truth <sighs> and they start posting for him verses some they are cursing him uh, this guy is saying here something very funny. He said, From the father of the cats, Ja'an Abi Huraira, Huraira mean cats. Okay. Bada al Islam gariban wa sayaudu gariban. And then he said, This is a scary hadith. Oof, 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 oof. Why is it scary to see it? Let's see it. Because people don't speak. Uh, uh, Arabic as you know, so we have to show them this is the guy the comment. He said this is a scary hadith Man It's happening the prophecy of the Prophet of Allah And you say Prophet of Allah is not the Prophet here we go Islam is start as a small religion and is going to come back as a small religion So you Muslim, you can say everybody will convert to Islam, Islam will dominate. And when Muhammad is saying the opposite, what's wrong with you? You follow Muhammad or you follow uh, Shish uh, Kabab Hamas uh, news agency? So this guy is saying it's happening. Islam is started as a small and will go back small. Yeah, we are shrinking it. <laughs> we are in the heart of arabia making people life on air leave islam i mean look how look how crazy the situation is they are not even hiding it no more so he said this is a scary this guy saying may allah fix us in our religion 
Okay, Allah will fix you, don't worry, but in a different way. So, Muslim, they start posting comment videos. Everybody wanna guide this guy to bring him back to Islam, and for sure he is getting a lot of a threat. And look, this one. اللهم ثبتنا على دينك وحدنا وقربنا إليك والله keep us you know fix us in your religion and look what she is wearing look what religion is yours isn't it this is haram according to Islam what is this true Muslim they are Muslims he is the according to Islam you are the Muslim too According to Islam, you are upper state. It is clear. It is okay. <clears throat> ah, this guy is making a threat. Ya ayyuha alladina amanu, man yartadda minkum an dinihi, fa sawfa yati Allah bi qawmin yuhibbahum, oh yuhibbunahum, oh you believe. You know, why the Muslim keep saying nobody leave Islam, nobody leave Islam? When the verse, the Quran is full of verses about people left Islam. Look, Allah is, you know, look like Allah was lying. And then Allah will bring people who do jihad against those who do Islam, do leave Islam. But you are the one who deceived them, so why you want to do jihad against them? Isn't it Allah is the one who deceive whoever he want? And guide whoever want, we want? <clears throat> this guy is you know, quoting this verse chapter 5 verse number 54 oh who you believe whoever among you turns back from his religion and Islam Allah will bring people who will love him <laughs> and they will love him they are humble toward the believer but they are going to be tough fighting criminal killers do jihad in the weight of Allah So this guy is making a threat. We will come after you. But I assure you, he's a potato coward. Like those YouTubers, you know, Fifi and Mimi and Susu. They claim to be Muslims, but they are sitting in London, paying tax, and they are carrying a passport, have the, the crown of the queen, and the crown of the queen, she have a cross in it. Instead of doing jihad, you know, we make YouTube. Oh, uh, <clears throat> this person is saying this uh, journalist, because he's a TV host, he is a very good man. I don't know what happened to him. He's a very, very nice person. What happened? We pray to Allah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Oh boy, all of them, they are like, what happened? What happened to this man? What happened? And this guy is quoting a verse from the Quran. If we read this verse, we will die laughing. Mm. Well, you know, in Kuwait, in Kuwait, in case you do not know, there is many uh, ex-Muslims since the American are controlling the country. So the country is different from what it used to be before. The one is really in control is, is, is the American. So I don't think they can do anything to him. Uh, there is many ex-Muslim already and they have a church. Actually, they have a picture for the, the founder of that church. Uh, let us see here. In this uh, clip here, see here, they will show you the one who I think here, let's see. Hey. Uh, this is here we go. This is the guy who used to be a, a he's a Kuwaiti. He be, he became a Christian and he established a Christian TV in Kuwait. So not only they have they have a church, they have a Christian TV in Kuwait. All right. So things are really changed. Very much changing. Um. All right. Let us see more more comment. <clears throat> All right, and this guy is reciting Quran for us. Okay, thank you. Uh, this guy is sitting in shower. Okay, there is a guy, hold on, I wanna find the guy. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Hold on. This guy, he is trained this guy how to get out of this. He said, so Al to 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 Ustaz Muhammad al Mu'min, the person who left Islam, is asking him a question. And I wish he can answer me with logic and using his brain. As we knew him as a journalist, he's a smart person, very well known. And now he will ask the question. Shall we listen to the question? Tell us the question. Al-Alami Muhammad al-Mu'min. Any shi arah yukhus al-Masihiyya bihadaf al-Shuhra rahtad zahigun. Rajul al-Atanaq al-Masihiyya. Nes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A question to this guy, he became a Christian. Okay, we seek Allah what? Thabat ala deena. We seek Allah to fix us now, what it is in. Get a crazy glue. Okay, and he likes Christianity. Okay, so Ustaz, I have a question for you. Did you know what the religion you follow now is saying about the Prophet Lut? What? Tell us. In the in the in the Old Testament, in the in, those people they mix between Injil and they are ignorant. You know, even the Quran says that Injil is the book of Jesus. The the Torah is the book of Moses. He said this is in the Injil, idiot. Anyway, so anyway, uh, in the book of okay uh, Genesis, it says what? Sifr Takwin Tsaatash Nigram Khams of Tharathin. فسقتا أباهما خمرا يقصدون من لوط عليه السلام والعياذ بالله في تلك الليلة أيضا وقامت الصغيرة وطجعت معه ولم يعلم بالطجاعها ولا بقيامها للوط أيضا أن بنت نامت وياه وقامت فحبلت ابنتا لوط من أب... Translation He is saying in the book of Genesis chapter 19 it says that the daughter of Lot they slept with the father and they made him drunk Yes, brother. How disgusting. Tell us more. I seek Allah refuge by Allah. They slept with their dad, brother. They slept with their dad. I seek refuge by Allah. Tell Nabi Allah Ruth in the Sharab Khamar, Muhammad Banata. So I enter Raha Ala Nafsik. You idiot. He is saying they accuse the Prophet Lut that he drank wine and he got drunk and he stepped with his wife, his, his daughters. You stupid liar. You coward. The verse in the front of you, it says they slept with him and he was he was asleep. He was totally drunk. And the reason for that, because they are living alone and they were afraid they cannot have babies. There's nobody. They live alone. And this is not a prophet. And secondly, the, the Bible is reporting a story. It's not God said to them, so if now I go and I sleep with my daughter, are you going to say, God, he said that to me? And then somebody write in the book that this guy, he did this. So liars and cowards. Secondly, Lot is not a prophet. Can you tell me the prophecy of Lot? Mr. Prophet Lot? Muslims, one of the most Crazy religion. Anyone for them is a prophet. Zulkarnain, Alexander the Great, is a prophet. Al Khadr, which is a fiction guy, does not exist, is a prophet. Tons of names we never heard, they are a prophet. Anyone he see in his way, he make him a prophet. But here you see how they lie. How you can accept to follow a religion saying that? Actually, you see, this is a proof that you Muslims, you lie when you say, that our Bible is corrupted because if something needs to be taken off so an idiot like you will not make a false statement is this a story maybe but we did not why because this is a true history this is not God said to them go and have sex with your with, with, with your father it's not God who ordered them and go have sex like you now in the Quran So because they are desperate, they do not know how to to answer this guy. He's a very famous person who every Muslim in the Gulf, they love him. Especially women. Then they wake up in the morning 
and they find this guy wearing a cross and saying, I am a Christian. They could not take it. So the comment is endless, and I say to Muslims, I mean, why this guy will not leave Islam? A religion promised me a penis was going to be endless. Is that from God? A religion promising me, if I kill some people, I will go to heaven. A religion telling me that the prophet, he will be having the power of 4,000 men for sex. I mean, why I want to believe in such a garbage? Here there's other Muslim. He's a sheikh. He is refuting this guy. He says, the Quran says, those who say that the Messiah is Allah, they are kuffar. Yeah, we don't say the Messiah is Allah. There's a million reasons to leave this cult. I mean, who in the world want to believe in religion that if you believe in it, Allah will give you 80,000 little boys. What? The last people who enter paradise. Ah, this is the last one. The one who get the lowest, the lowest. You see, this is the lowest. The least of the people who enter paradise in the position. With 80,000 servants, they are boys. 80,000 servants? I mean, if my food will be ready by wishing, wishing the food to be there, what servant will do? If I will never have laundry, if my house will never get dirty, if there's no dishes to wash, the second you eat, all the, the dark garbage disappear. You don't go to the bathroom. You don't sweat. You don't get dirty. And you don't change your clothes. So what the servant will do? Actually, you know, for me, the, there, is, there is a story in the, in the hadith. Muhammad, he mentioned it. This one is enough to make me a Muslim. You know, when, uh, 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 when the, the, the stone uh, stole the cloth of Moses, I mean, since then I have a phobia from stones. I don't, I don't get sent. I don't sit on them. I don't leave my clothes on them. Like I go to the swimming pool, brother. What I do? I will never let my clothes in the uh, in the in the in the stone, even if it's a concrete. Because look, stones they can move by the order of Allah, and they can steal their wallet. Allah fix us in Islam. Allah fix us. It's a true story. People accuse Musa, they have a problem with his testicles. So Allah decided to prove that his testicles is wonderful and his private part is a point. So what he did, when Musa would decide to take a shower, he put his clothes, brother. Look, look, look at the story. One day, when Musa was taking a bath alone, alone, you must be kidding me. And look, look, between two brackets, alone. To make it clear, like, he's alone. We told you he's very shy. Okay, he placed his clothes upon a stone, but the stone began to move along with the, his clothes. Musa's ran after it, saying, Oh my garment, stone. <sighs> By the way, ladies, you can use this story in case you took the credit card of your husband. If something like this happen, just do this. Tell him go to the river, or the, the, if you live next to the beach, tell him go take a shower. He go out. He say the stone stole it from you. If he don't believe you, show him the story. Can he accuse Prophet of Allah to be a liar? And he's a Muslim. So you can take his credit card now, before he leave the house. Then he go to the beach, and then he take a shower. He come from the beach and you can move the like when he is like diving, he, like move his clothes around, like just to throw them away. So he will make okay, somebody play with them. And tell him, don't put your clothes on the sand, okay? Put it in the rock. Be sure you say that to him, you know. Don't tell him, don't put your clothes and tell him like because I don't want your clothes to get full of sand, okay? And then he will uh, make make sense, make sense. So he will put his clothing in the top of the rock, not on the sand. And then when he come back, he don't find his credit card. What you say to him? 
Let me show you this story. I know what happened. Allah, he ordered the stone to steal your credit card. In the case of Musa's, she took the whole thing, the garment, the wallet, the pant, everything. So he ran after all oh my garment till he, till he reached the group of Bani Israel and he saw him naked. Thanks to Allah, at that time there was no police. If there's a police, uh, 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 Musa's will be arrested for exposing himself in front of its children. Don't leave Islam, my friend. Islam is telling the truth. Muhammad is not telling a lie. And then Moses, when he arrived to the stone, he started beating the stone. And by Allah, the Prophet, he swear, by Allah, they still have some traces of the hitting. Look, when Muhammad, he swear, that, that's it, it's serious. By Allah, the Prophet, he hit the stone. Yes, brother, idiot. He hit the stone and by Allah until now the trace of the hitting I mean what kind of a stick this Musa's he have ah no wonder he split the sea now I know why he carry his stick with him hmm. so anyway they are going crazy because this guy he left Islam I'm so happy for him we love Muslims and we will never hate them for the Lord, the Messiah, he says, love your enemy. Pray for those who curse you. They are cursing him. They are angry from him. I say to him, don't curse them back. Today you are a Christian. You belong to the true Lord. God is all about love. Love your enemy and let the one who live with their hate suffer with their hate. They are the one who will suffer. Those who have hate in their heart they suffer with their hate. Your hate will kill you. Hate is like a knife in your chest. It is actually a knife in your chest if you are a person who believes in hate. So my friend, we say to our brothers in our brother in Christ Muhammad al mumin the TV the famous TV host in Kuwait we are happy for you good for you and may the Lord bless you and we will pray from our heart your family to join you in Christ so you will not be alone in the family those who hate you for what the good you do the good you did they will thank you tomorrow for sharing the truth and you are so brave we have to admit we have to agree that this person is very brave to live in the heart of Arabia and yet life on air he say I am a Christian and he showed a cross in his neck good for you and our prayer for all people of Kuwait to accept the Messiah soon, very soon. And in his name we pray. We love the Muslims, we will never hate them. Muhammad, he wants us to hate each other, but we will not feel, fall into the trap of Muhammad. We will not be hate mongers. If you are a Christian and you hate the Muslims, you are far away from Christ. You better think again and those who come to Christ from between the Muslims like this gentleman here this is the founder of a Christian TV station in Kuwait now in Kuwait we have ex-Christian ex-Muslims who they have not only churches they have their TV stations so the Lord is great and Christianity is coming I just today I spoke with someone from uh, a Christian who work in China and he told me the great news the prediction that the biggest Christian country in the world is going to be China is going to be literally China 
the biggest country in the world. So after all what the communists did, did after all what the Muslim they do, trying to stop the gospel, the love of Jesus to arrive to every home, to every person. But if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? And with that I say, God bless you all. Pray for the Muslims, love them, never hate them, so you can be a great example of the great Lord. God is good. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care. you are a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist or an atheist, whoever you are, and you feel that you want to commit yourself, your life to Jesus, I want to pray with you right now. And I want to invite you to come to faith in Jesus Christ because he loves you. Maybe you feel that you are anxious. You are filled with anxiety, always anxiety and so much stress and depression. I, I pray that you will find your way to Jesus. Pray always to God and pray this prayer with me if you want to receive Jesus into your heart and mind right now. Pray this prayer with me because God loves you. He wants you to come close to Him. Say, God Almighty, I give you my heart. I give you my life. I ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I pray that you will wash me clean. I repent and I pray that you will accept me as your child. I no longer want to be a slave to sin. I no longer want to be a slave to Allah. I no longer want to be a slave to fear. But I want to be your child. Wash me clean. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I make him my Savior. And from now on, I will follow Jesus. I will live for Jesus. I give you my whole being. Be glorified. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Touch me right now. And show me your will. Guide me. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. if you have prayed that prayer with me I want to invite you to inbox us and um, I want you to, in, to, to join Christian groups and then tell people that you have come to faith in Christ tell anyone especially Christians so that we can rejoice with you and the angels of God they rejoice in heaven they rejoice over you over one person who comes to faith in Christ so I want to rejoice with you we want to rejoice with you and we want to invite you to read your Bible every day start with the book of John in the New Testament um, the book of John chapter 1 read that and also the book of Matthew in the New Testament read Matthew 5 and just be filled with God's presence God's peace God's joy and contact us um, go see and if you can you you can find a church a Bible based church be careful there are many cults churches out there so find the right church if you don't know which church to go to contact us and we will guide you we will help you um, and um, be blessed be blessed and glorify God pray every day wherever you are wherever you go you don't have to do voodoo you don't have to do rituals anymore just praise God and enjoy your creator with you who is with you and he will never leave you no never forsake you amen